Hello, in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to download data from Google Spreadsheet and put it into Fathom and test or calculate the correlation between two variables. So we're in Google Spreadsheet. We need to save or download this data as a CSV file. You should know beforehand where the downloads are saved on your computer. We're going to go, go into Fathom. Um, we're going to import the data from file and we have to find the data we just downloaded. Um, my data downloads to the desktop, it's right here, double click on it. Um, so now the Fathom creates a, a collection of the data. Let's look at the data by selecting table and you can see the data is organized in a data table. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the correlation between variables. For example, the correlation between variable 1 and variable 2, between variable 1 and variable 3, and variable 1 and variable 4. Uh, let's look at correlation before we calculate it. So I select I'm going to create a graph and click on one of the variables and drag it to the x-axis. Do the same thing for variable 2, I'm going to drag it to the y-axis. And you can see as variable 1 increases, so does variable 2. So in other words, there's a correlation between variable 1 and variable 2. This is in fact a positive correlation. Um, now you can have a negative correlation and when you increase variable 1, variable 3 decreases. So this is a negative correlation. Um, and also perhaps there's no correlation. As you can see, there's no trend between variable one and variable four. It looks pretty, pretty scattered. Um, but what we can do uh, is uh, actually calculate the correlation. So let's go back to a positive correlation. So to calculate correlation, we go to test. Drag it down here. Uh, we're going to select test correlation. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag variables um, into the test and calculate the um, correlation. So you can drag from the data table, variable one, or you can also grab from the actual graph. So let's select variable two and drag it down here. And it has calculated the correlation coefficient, a value of one. This is a value of one is the highest positive correlation we can get. So uh, as we saw, this is a, there is a high correlation between variable one and two, but numerically we can we have a value for that correlation, uh, a value of one. Um, but let's say that we randomly selected data that correlated, and actually variable one and variable two are uh, do not correlate, uh, basically in the real world. So what's the probability that we would get this randomly get this data? Um, when variable one and two don't correlate. Um, and so you can see down here, uh, there's an explanation here, but the, the actual numerical value, the probability, is less than 0 0.0001. So in fact, if we get a correlation this high, um, it's, it's unlikely that, uh, very unlikely, um, that it is due to uh, just random chance. Um, so um, we have our correlation va coefficient value and we have our probability value. Um, now let's look at the negative correlation. So we're going to select uh, variable 3, just to remind you what it looks like, and then let's drag it to the test. Now that value changes. Notice, now the value is negative 1. So again, this is the highest negative value that you you can have for correlation. Um, <clears throat> so it, it appears that this data is negatively correlated. So as you increase variable one, variable three decreases. Um, and again, very low probability um, of, of it being explained by chance, less than 0 0.0001. Um, now let's look at no correlation uh, or very low correlation. Um, let's drag variable 4 into the test. And notice this correlation value is very small, close to 0, 0.13364. Um, and so it doesn't appear that this data is correlated. 
In fact, if we were to randomly generate the data, uh, we expect to see this data a much higher probability. In fact, uh, 0.87. So 87% of the time we'd, we would get this data um, if the two variables uh, were not correlated. And in fact, they are not correlated, so that makes uh, perfect sense. Um, one thing about correlation I should mention is that, um, excuse me, variable one and see a variable two, is that um, if we see a correlation, we don't know if it's because variable one causes variable two to increase, or if there's some third variable that causes both of them to, to, to increase. Um, so we can't make that conclusion just from this data alone. Thank you.